All righty, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining me tonight. I'm Taryn Mitchell, and we're starting off this evening with a federal judge deciding to overturn a 30 year old ban on assault weapons here in California, deeming the ruling to be unconstitutional. While well, our very own Stephanie Aceves spoke with a local political analysis about this decision and what it could mean in the long run and has our top story. In an unexpected turn of events, a federal judge decided to overturn California's current ban on assault weapons on Gun Violence Awareness Day on Friday. Like the Swiss Army knife, the popular AR-15 rifle is a perfect combination of home defense weapon and homeland defense equipment. At least that's what U.S. District Judge Roger Benitez argued in his ruling overturning the ban for assault weapons in California, one of a handful of states that currently has regulations in place for these types of weapons. But a local political analyst says this decision is a nationwide movement. There's a national movement of people who are trying to reduce the power of state and local governments to control gun possession in their communities. To try to get it all the way to the Supreme Court in the hope that the new conservative balance on the U.S. Supreme Court would make a ruling uh, uh, in support of this. This decision comes on the heels of the deadly VTA rail yard shooting that occurred in San Jose last month. Anderson mentions decisions like these are typically left for the states to decide, but it's a possibility that it could reach the U.S. Supreme Court. What happens now is that four judges have to agree to hear the case, not five, not a majority, but four. So if there are four judges on the U.S. Supreme Court that would hear the case, then conceivably it could go to a full hearing of the Supreme Court. And that right now we just don't know. There's Supporters of the decision like the San Diego gun owners PAC say they agree with the decision. The best part of the decision is that the judge is pointing out that, hey, this is a firearm like any other firearm, and that the right really has to do with self-defense. Some gun owners propose the argument that guns are not the issue. Weapons don't kill, people kill. Policy kills. Uh, lack of judgment kills. The decision will be stayed for at least 30 days pending an appeal to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Reporting in Salinas, Stephanie Aceves, KION News Channel 546.